AM. Welcome back, everyone. In honor of National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we have our own local survivor here. This is Sandra Schuhart. She actually just finished her last round of chemo and radiation. That was September 8th, Sandra. Yes, yes, it was. And it was a long journey that started in December of 2021. And what was that like in December? Okay, uh, I went for my annual mammogram. Mm -hmm. And at that time, uh, two days later, I was called back for a second mammogram. Being a retired pharmacist, I turned around and asked the technician to look at it. And things did not look good. I, I actually, even before the biopsy, I assumed it was malignant. And so the start of my journey as far as a cancer survivor began at that point in time. And I know St. Peter's has helped you along every step of this journey. What was your original diagnosis, Sandra? Um, it was stage one uh, breast cancer. Um, I had surgery in February of 2022, and I was fortunate, no lymph nodes, and the margins were all clear. Uh, I had an oncotype testing, which is a testing of the tumor, and that came out where they said chemotherapy would be a benefit to me. And of course, I proceeded with chemotherapy and then went on to radiation. And I feel fantastic now. And, and I just want to tell people, go for your mammogram. Find out. Don't put it off. And I know because of your background, you have extra knowledge when it comes to this. Why is it so important that you went to that yearly mammogram and got that diagnosis early? Too many people put it off. And if mm -hmm. you put it off, you can be a stage four, which is a very poor prognosis, a stage one, even a stage two. Your likelihood of survival is 99% at this point in time for a five-year survival rate. It's absolutely, to me, don't put anything off. And you still did have to go through that chemo yes. and radiation. What was that like? I know it's a difficult time. <sighs> very time consuming we have the farm and so mm -hmm. it was very time consuming as far as from my job but boy it uh i was very fortunate i didn't have a lot of the side effects um, i had a great group of doctors and nurses mm -hmm. the support staff i had support of my family of uh, friends um you know it was challenging but well worth going through it you know i'm looking to be around for another 20 30 years <laughs> Well, I, I know you're going to be, and Sandra, I just have to mention something because it's so apparent, and I know it's apparent to everyone at home too. Your positivity just radiates through everything you're talking about. How did you get there with that? Because I know you, you said you have your own farm, you have 300 chickens. How did you stay positive through this whole experience? Because I know it's an ordeal. I, it's an ordeal, but I'm, I'm the type of person that the glass is half full as opposed to half empty. Mm -hmm. I just... I think that got me through on my journey. It, it, the positive attitude makes a big difference as opposed to, oh, I don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. I, uh, yes, the woe is me is just not my personality. I, I think that uh, I helped me get through it a lot easier and a lot better. Now we both know, we're women, that sometimes we end up last on the list, right? After family, after kids, after grandkids, if you have them out there, one more time, why should people make sure they get that appointment for that mammogram every single year? Don't put it off. It's your, your life is at stake. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, any woman should go for that yearly mammogram. And, you know, I can't stress it enough. If, if I had not gone, what position would I have been in that, at this point? And your position is your PET scan came back. You were cancer free. Yes, yes. So cancer survivor for sure. Oh, we, we're, and we're celebrating you today, Sandra. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much.